Now that we understand the concept of CRUD and we have models that work with our database, we can actually start to create our own views to display HTML content in a way we want it to be displayed. So what we see here is a what we would call a list view, right? So there's a list of items here, or at least there could be a longer list, but there's a list of items here and we can click individual items and see more about that item. So that's the very first thing that we're gonna do because we already have stuff in the database. So we wanna figure out how we can actually see that stuff in the database. So inside of our views.py for posts, we are gonna be creating this list view here. And this is gonna take in a few different concepts that um, will start to become more clear as you work more with Django. The first one being a query set and how query sets work. But before we jump into that, we're gonna just make um, a very, very basic view. Um, and we're gonna do this by using what's called function-based views. Function-based views are a lot easier to understand because it's a simple Python function. There's another thing called class-based views, which we go into in another project called the Digital Market. And that project is listed on our website. This is a much more in-depth project than what we're going through here. There are gonna be some things that we'll go over again. As you can see, CRUD is in there. Um, it's, it's definitely a fundamental for building applications, but class-based views is something that you will probably wanna learn about after you understand and master function-based views. But luckily, function-based views are very easy. Um, so let's go back into our view, and we're just gonna make our first function-based view and not actually um, implement any sort of list view yet. And so I'm gonna define this as posts home, and we're gonna return something here. So this is a standard Python function. What we wanna do here is we wanna return HTML content of some kind. And by default, the shortcut of render comes back to us. So before I actually even return render, I'm gonna just also import from django.http, I'm gonna import HTTP response. So the HTTP response class, I'm just gonna return an H1 tag saying hello, and that's it. So since it's a function, um, we have to actually wrap this function into something. Um, so what we have to wrap it into is a URL. Before I even do that, I want to actually add one more or a parameter into the post home, and that is request. So this is gonna be a good time to talk about another concept before we actually jump into mapping this to a URL. So we're gonna stop now and we'll see you in the next one.